Oh, hey, egg. Good Friday morning. Let's talk egg in the hole, toad in the hole, bullseye, one-eyed Egyptian sandwich. Now, there are a lot of videos on YouTube for egg in the nest, and there's one video from a 1935 film with Guy Kibbe, and he's making a one-eyed Egyptian sandwich. He said he learned how to make it in Cairo. When I grew up, I remember it being called bullseye. <sighs> where, where am I going with this? Oh, wait, 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 wait. So there's this video of Guy Kibbe making his egg in a, in a vintage aluminum pan, very much like this beautiful majestic pan. And he clearly is not using butter. I looked at a lot of videos on YouTube, and including Bebish, who butters his bread. If you watch this clip, I will link the video below of Guy Kibbe making the one-eyed Egyptian sandwich. He uses some kind of oil, some kind of fat. It doesn't look like bacon grease to me. I'm not sure what. So I googled cooking oil from the 1930s, 1940s, and Mazzola came up. Mazzola's been around forever. It used to come in a metal tin back then. This is genetically modified. This is not non-GMO oil. That's kind of sucky, but it's 100% corn oil. You can buy non-GMO oil. Just saying. I made a video yesterday of making the egg in a nest or the one-eyed Egyptian sandwich in the aluminum pan. Here's the thing. There's always a thing. I've never cooked it with corn oil. I was literally shocked how good it tasted. How good it looked. But I was like, my mind is blown. Because he puts this bread into a pool of oil in the pan, throws in the egg, flips it over, and the bread turned out golden, crusty, unlike anything I've made over the years using butter. I don't know how many videos I watched yesterday. Most of them all used butter. Nothing like Guy Kibbe did in the movie. I'm really glad I tried it because, to my surprise, the bread tasted like it was buttered. I was amazed. I was taken aback. Taken aback. Let's make one more in color. Let's stop yapping and let's get cooking. You don't have to use a vintage pan. You're probably better off using a nonstick pan. The movie Guy Kibbe was in was called Mary Jane's Pa. And that looks exactly like it did in the, in the movie clip. One-eyed Egyptian sandwich. That's a better type. That's a better name for it. It, it would appeal to kids. <coughs> Ooh, it's not even 6.30 in the morning. a little sticking. I've got to work that out. Look how beautiful that is though. Isn't that beautiful? I think that's beautiful. This video is not about me learning how to cook in that pan. Do we have a yolk? We do. We've got our yolk. Take a bite of the bread. Golden. Golden brown. It tastes like you buttered it. Mmm. Using corn oil, I've got to say, it's probably the best egg in a nest I've ever had. You should have seen my reaction yesterday. I couldn't give you a reaction yesterday because it was a silent video. Try corn oil. I'm not kidding. It's just freaking amazing. This is why you make one more video on egg in the nest, toad in the hole, egg in a hole, <laughs> bullseye, Cholesterol free. GMO, but cholesterol free. This, this, this is crunchy. Oh my gosh. Hey, Good Friday. You know what I'm going to say? Stop.
stoppingly good. This is my last one. Oh, a little bit of salt and pepper. There we go. Oh gosh. Thanks for watching.